good morning i am devasena in this lecture we are going to discuss about basic circuit parameters that is about resistance inductance and capacitance this topic is present in the subject circuit analysis let us start discussing about the resistance the property of a resistor made up of any material which opposes the flow of current through it is called resistance and it is denoted as r the resistance is measured in ohms now we see the symbol of the resistance the symbol of the resistance is shown below this is the diagrammatic representation of the resistance now we see the factors affecting the resistance of a material the factors affecting the resistance of the material are first one length small l area of cross section small a resistivity rho it is given by r is equal to rho l divided by a ohms the resistance also depends on the temperature the voltage and current relationship is given by ohms law as i of t is equal to v of t by r and v of t is equal to i of t into r where i of t is the current flowing through the circuit v of t is the voltage across the circuit r is the resistance the power consumed is given by p of t is equal to v of t into i of t there is nothing but v of v square of t by r that is equal to i square of t into r if the voltage and current are dc that is constant given by capital v and capital i then capital i is equal to v by r or capital v is equal to i into r the power is given by v into i that is nothing but v square by r that is equal to i square into r the power is measured in watts the energy consumed is given by w is equal to integral of minus infinity to t p of t into dt that is nothing but integral of minus infinity into t v of t i of t into dt the energy consumed is measured in joules that is capital j for constant dc v and i energy consumed in time t is w is equal to v i t joules let us start discussing about the second parameter inductance capital l the coils having capital n number of turns made up of various materials and having various sizes are called inductors the property of a coil which opposes any change in current passing through it is called an inductance it is denoted as capital l inductance is treated as a circuit element which stores energy in the form of electromagnetic field the inductance property is measured with the help of the unit henry's capital h let us see the symbol of the inductance it is indicated in this diagram the symbol of the inductance for fixed inductor variable inductance as well as transformer is shown below the first diagram represents the symbol for the fixed inductor in the second diagram represents the symbol for the variable inductor in that a variable arrow is present over the inductor in the third one is the representation of the transformer 
The inductance property is measured with the help of the unit Henry's capital H. In inductance, the voltage across it is proportional to the rate of change of current and constant of proportionality is an inductance. It is represented as V of t is equal to L into derivative of I of t by dt and I of t is equal to 1 by L integral of 0 to L V of t dt plus I of 0 where I of 0 is the initial current through an inductor. Mathematically, inductance is the ratio of flux linkages that is capital N into phi associated with it to the current I producing the flux that is capital N is equal to N phi by I. The power in the inductor is P of t is equal to V of t into I of t. The energy stored in the inductor is W is equal to integral of 0 to t V of t into I of t dt. That is equal to integral of 0 to t L into d i of t by dt into i of t dt because the value of v of t is equal to L into d i of t by dt. Therefore, w is equal to integral of 0 to t L into i of t d i of t that is nothing but L i square of t. If the current flowing is constant i then W that is energy is equal to 1 by 2 L I square joules. Let us start discussing about the third parameter capacitance capital C. Two conducting plates separated from each other by an insulating material is called a capacitor. The insulating material is called dielectric. The commonly used dielectrics are paper, air, mica, etc. The property of a capacitor to store an electrical energy in the form of electrostatic field when a potential difference is applied across it is called capacitance. It is denoted as capital C. It is measured with the help of the unit farads. It is denoted by a letter capital F. Let us see the symbol of the index capacitance. The representation of the capacitor in the form of three types as fixed capacitor, polarized capacitor and variable capacitor symbol are shown in this diagram. The charge acquired by a capacitor is proportional to the voltage applied and a constant of proportionality is a capacitance capital C. The charge Q is equal to C into V of T or C is equal to Q divided by V of T where Q is the charge in Coulomb's derivation continued. Its current can be obtained by differentiating Q is equal to C into V of T equation. That is dQ by dT is equal to C into dV of T by dT. But dQ by dT is equal to current I of T. Therefore, I of T is equal to C into dV of T by dT. And V of T is equal to 1 by C integral of 0 to T I of T dT plus V of 0, where V of 0 is the initial voltage across the capacitor. The power in the capacitor is P of t is equal to V of t into I of t in watts. The energy stored in the capacitor can be obtained as W is equal to integral of 0 to t V of t into I of t dt. If you substitute the value of I of t is equal to C into dV of t by dt, 
then w is equal to integral of 0 to t v of t into c into d v of t by dt into dt that is w is equal to integral of 0 to t c into v of t dv of t that is equal to l c v square of t by 2 that is the energy represented as w is equal to 1 by 2 c v square of t joules if voltage across the capacitor c is constant then w is equal to 1 by 2 capital c capital v square joules the summary of the basic circuit parameters are given for that element in this table we have discussed about the basic relation voltage across if the current is known current through if the voltage is known and the energy this is indicated in the